Good day, yarn lovers. It's Gary, and I'm coming to you from my happy place, the Yarn Corner here on the west coast of Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome on this hot and sweltering Sunday. It's July 7th, 2024. How are you all doing? I hope you're well and staying cool if you're in these parts of the world and safe if you're in other parts. Uh, if you're happening across this channel for the very first time, welcome. I've set this channel up to talk about all of my yarny goodies. That's in knitting and crocheting. I talk about my acquisitions, where I purchase my yarn and my tools from. So if that is of interest to you, please stick around. Uh, and those who are returning, I want to say welcome back. Thank you so much for always spending time with me, supporting the channel and writing those wonderful comments. In the last video I dropped, I had presented three little crocheted kitties and it was to a pattern from her wool. The pattern is called Albert the Cat and I had some really sweet compliments from you guys and comments and I want to say that cat pattern is so addictive that I went out and I purchased some more uh, fiber fill because I ran out of all the scraps and little uh, clippings that I have in my collection of previous makes. Uh, I had enough to make three cats, but now I've bought some of the filling myself and I'm going to be making some more. So if you're not knowing what I'm talking about with Albert the Cat and my presentation in the last update, I'll include that in the links down below, along with any of the patterns that I might mention in this episode, as well as uh, tutorials, or if I mention any YouTubers. So please do go down there and check if you are looking for more information on anything that I talk about in this episode. So this particular video I put together to talk about a Wee Crochet purchase, which is an online store. And I'll also include that link down below. Now the Knit Picks and Wee Crochet will be affiliate links. And if you make a purchase by clicking on that link to get to the sites, then a small commission will be sent back to me if you make a purchase. So just to flag that and be upfront with it, it is a small fund that I will be putting back into the channel. So yeah, let's talk about what Hank, my man form is wearing. And he is wearing a sweater vest that I knitted up about two years ago. I do put on some older makes that I've made along the way here in these episodes just to talk about and showcase how the yarn holds up after wash and wear. Now this has had a couple of seasons. It's a great garment piece that transitions from the autumnal month into the winter and continually wearing it until spring here in these parts. It still gets quite frosty in spring mornings. So this is wonderfully warm. Uh, it uses two yarns held together and then a separate yarn here for the color banding. It, it's not from a pattern. So uh, this was when I was practicing my cabling and I wanted to do a cricket style sweater vest. So there are many patterns out here that look like this. So if you're looking to make your own, just type in Google um, cable sweater vest or cricket cable sweater vest and you'll get lots of patterns that come up that look similar to this. But yeah, no, pa no pattern. I just... I uh, wrote some notes in my notebook and I followed the instructions to get the sizing that I wanted. And then, yeah, I kept going with it. So there's there's a hand dye in there as well of my own that I uh, over dyed because it was a, um, I think it was a beige colored mohair acrylic fingering weight. And I over dyed it more of these lovely teal greens and um, yeah, put it into the piece. So that's what Hank is sporting. And the wool, the fiber has held up very well. So the fabric didn't peel. I do hand wash and I do lay flat to dry this piece here. And it's gone through about three to six washes. Uh, definitely after every season that I've worn it and sometimes mid season, I would wash the garment by hand and lay it flat. Uh, so no peeling and it's really held its uh, cabling up really nicely. So yeah, let's get back to the order and I'm looking down here where I have my invoice. So we crochet at the time that I made this purchase, June 14th, 2024, there was a 20% off code that I used at checkout and it gave me uh, the 20% off all 
new yarns on the wee crochet side. So we crochet or knit pixie by interchange between the two. They are sister companies. Uh, when you make a purchase, you'll get lots of the labeling and the, uh, the invoice sheet and all that saying knit picks, we crochet, so they interchange. Uh, there are slightly different product on either side because the we crochet is more directed to crocheters. So you'll see crochet tools and the knit picks will, is more catered to knitters so you'll see knitting needle sets or knitting needles so they they kind of like are separated in some uh reasonable way of product but the yarn is all interchangeable you'll see all the yarn similar to both sides uh occasionally they'll do different sales on either either side so the small package it was a small order it came in this bag here and it was mailed to me via Canada Post. There was no extra charges uh, when it entered the country and to my address and it showed up on my doorstep. So I was really happy about that. Now, price point will be in US currency. And I see here that they've taken the discount off at the end of my purchase order sheet. So what I'm gonna be quoting to you are prices that are regular. And then the discount at the bottom will be what I got off with that coupon for 20% off new yarns. Okay, now that I've reviewed the, this yarn that I'm going to be talking about, I believe that not all of these were new yarns. This one that I have in hand was one that they have discontinued, I believe. Unless they're restocking it, I'm not sure. But they, the colorways I was seeing in this collection were dwindling down and they only had two colorways left and now to date I don't see this being featured anymore but here it is it is called the alpaca cloud and I believe that's upside down <laughs> yep that's better I'm reading it backwards and the colorway is called Nora it's in the DK weight so they do have one that is online right now in a fingering and lace weight but this is the DK weight version that I believe has been discontinued and if you look at that, I'm going to give that a lighter three weight or DK weight yarn. So maybe this might pair well with a sport. I'm not too sure. I have ideas for this yarn and I will be trying that out because I see other colors that really, really work well with the ones that I bought in this collection. And we'll see whether it works or not. But this is a beautiful heathered quality yarn. I'm seeing speckles in there of uh, like a blue spruce kind of green color and gray. It's it's really lovely. Uh, so yeah, I got myself two of these and hmm, softness factor. I always rate my yarns that I purchase out of five, five being the softest. And because of that lovely soft alpaca that's in here, I'm gonna give this a 3.75 rating. And so that's, I could wear this against my skin with no issues whatsoever, no pinching, no scratching. I think it's a, a lovely fresh uh, yarn that will hold up great stitch definition. So it's a medium twist. And what am I getting in here? Hand wash, lay flat to dry. It's 100% baby alpaca. The... Uh, ball itself is 50 grams, offering up 123 yards. And I absolutely love it. So the price point on, on one of these was $7.19. And that is before the 20% discount that came off of my orders. And yeah, so I got two of those. Yeah, really, really nice. The other color that was available to me at the time when I purchased is this one here. And this one is called Elizabeth. A really deep, deep red. And I'm seeing a bit of ruby red twisted in there and speckles of different, well, they're not really speckles, but they're tonally, tonally specked with the different values of the reds. And I love that because it plays a new dimension into the fabrics that you either crochet or knit up. So, Nice color choices that will work up well together in a project. And I really like them. 
$7.19 per ball. Yeah, and then 20% off of that. So the other one that I want to compare it with, because I saw this and thought, okay, different. it's a different yarn weight, but it has similar properties as the Alpaca Cloud. And it's their new yarn called, I'm going to hopefully pronounce this correctly, Capretta. So the Capretta yarn that is new on We Crochet and Knit Picks is this one here. So we have another donutty formed yarn. Not my most favorite of wi winding techniques of yarn, although it does create a nice fluffy kind of bundle of joy to squish. I find it's hard to stack these as well as when you use them, a lot of the times they break apart. So the Capretta, let's just take a look at some of these and compare to see whether they can relate, even though this one is classified fingering and this one is classified DK. So I'll put this one down and we'll look at the Capretta. So what we have here is the, in the colorway called Embers, Embers Heather. And this is also a yarn that's made in Peru, same as the Alpaca Cloud. It is offering up 50 grams, 230 yards. So there it's telling me it's a thinner yarn base. So I might have to double up if I'm going to play the Capretta with the Alpaca Cloud. So that's the fingering weight. I think that's a healthy fingering weight. It's lovely. Yeah. Uh, what are you made up of? You are made up of 80% superwash fine merino wool, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. Wow. Softness factor on this one. It, it has a little bit of a prickle to it. So I'm going to say it's 3.5 out of 5. So not as soft as the alpaca cloud. Yeah, but fairly, fairly comparable for sure. This colorway does seem to have a slight heathering, not as much as the previous one, but it's going to give me that interesting texture that I was talking about because of the tonal factors that relate in the yarn base. Yeah, I really like this. I'm super happy that I got it. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Uh hand wash no this one is machine wash in cold and you can tumble dry this on low so the care instructions are slightly different too ah oh, yes all day every day love this now let me look at the price point on this one before the sale and this one was selling for ten dollars fifty per ball with really really nice ingredients in there like different no, I would say I would call that luxury fibers and that's before the discount the 20% off new yarn discount so what is that I probably paid about eight US dollars per ball yeah really like that I got it in another colorway as well and this one is a kind of a straw color camel some people call this a camel color and what uh it's called ta tansy heather which is t-a-n-s-y that's beautiful it's actually more camel than what you're seeing uh right now in the in the camera field uh it's taken out a little bit of that gold factor uh, but yes it's a very very sweet yarn and i'm thinking if i hold these two together I could put them with the alpaca cloud and create a bigger project. So I've got these two colors to play around with in, sorry, these two colors. That's a capretta there to play around with and maybe hold double. I think that works really well. Yeah, moving right along to the next, I have, I have two more colors in a new, to me uh, collection and also for nitpicks that these are re a relatively new it's called the gloss and it's fingering weight so these ones are in hank form so i got this color it's a brown 
and I got two of them. So it's fingering weight. It's called Smoky Quartz. In the 50 grams, I'm getting 220 yards. So that will work nicely up with their Capretta, I feel. So that's their fingering weight. I'm going to say that's a very healthy fingering weight. Yeah, and with that alpaca fuzz, I'm thinking it has alpaca, I'm not too sure. Let's take a look. No, it doesn't. It has 70% merino wool and 30% silk. Now, this one, I would say, is slightly... It's not as soft as the other two, so I'm going to give this one a 3.25 out of 5. So, it's still all highly rated in their, in their softness factor. Um, this one will probably be the more toothiest, but still I could wear this against my skin with no issues. Uh, yeah, I would say for me, uh, my tolerance level, if I, if I got a two or a two or lower, I probably would wear something underneath, even a 2.5 or lower, I would wear something underneath between, uh, my skin. But anything that rates above that, I could wear that definitely directly on my skin. So yeah, love it, love it, love it. Where are you made? I think you're in Peru too, right? I probably get that wrong. No, it is Peru. I love it. So this is hand wash, lay flat to dry. And it gives me 50 grams in each, 220 yards. I might have already said that. So it's going to work well with the Capretta for sure. So I'm seeing all these colors that can relate. Smoky Quartz, a, this one here, which is called Ember's Heather. Ah, I'm getting autumnal vibes with these makes that I'm thinking of. So price point for the gloss, $7.99 on the regular before the discount was applied. And here we go, a second gloss that I purchased in two hanks, 50 grams each, is this one here called Masala. It's a really spicy number, isn't it? It's it's great, it's giving me vibes of like uh, cooking and those wonderful smells in Indian cooking. So I thought I'd go with something like the fact of maybe some herbs, spices, and all the things nicest for a project together. So we've got that one in this red and this gray. Oh, hang on a minute. And this, this one here, camel color. So yeah, all together. And alternatively, what I've done is I've bought two of each of the Hanks, so that if I need to find a project that I want to use it as DK to incorporate the other two collections, then I can hold two together as I'm working or double up and work a, a larger piece with all of the yarn together. So something spicy and uh, herb base inspired from cooking are going to be the flavors of this project. Yeah. So I hope that you enjoyed it, all that wonderful yarn. And now I should talk to you about shipping. So all of those wonderful prices and the discount that I mentioned, all tallied up of a discount that I got with a 20% coupon of $25.67. They did charge me for taxes here. So that was a $3.85 tax. And I'm noticing here that the shipping was wavered because I had spent over a certain threshold. Now, a little tip, if you're ever shopping Knit Picks or We Crochet, check out what their threshold is for their free shipping components. Sometimes it's not balanced. So in Knit Picks, you might have to get a few more dollars to get, get the free shipping. And We Crochet has a lower threshold. So just check in because I'm not sure whether that's going to be the case uh, all the time when you're watching this video a little later. Uh, so balance up whether or not you know you can get free shipping on one of the sites at an earlier like price point or a, 
a lower price point. Uh, so that would be my tip when you're shopping knit picks or wee crochet. So with that, I think that catches you up with everything. I'm super happy with this yarn. Uh, do you have a favorite color that I showed? I know that they're all kind of like warm and autumnal. Uh, so they are giving me vibes of a seasonal kind of make. And I'm thinking more along the lines of the next season that's coming up, fall. And I will be putting this together with some more yarn that I have received from Knit Picks as well as I am creating something in the fall with it. So yeah, look forward to seeing those items and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.